Hello, and this is Jim from Tech Buzz. We're back with the Instax Mini Leaf Clay. I'm going to talk about it and tell you what we think about it so far. And uh, been using it for a day or two now, and pretty impressive. So I'm going to go over just some of the details again here. So you have your film with slots in there, and you just line them up out of the box like so. It'll pop out here. It takes about 10 seconds for an image to print, and. That's just giving you a quick idea there of how long it'll take. So you have your menu system here, your back, your play, and your print button here. SD card in here if you want to store locally, and your power button here, and your different frames here. And this is your voice recording, so if you're used to that, uh, which we'll demonstrate in a minute, when you're taking an image, you'll hold this in and it'll print with a barcode, it's pretty cool and this is your short key here and your lens and so on so this is, um, it's got a 1.5 CMOS primary colour filter pixels are 2560 by 1920 and with an f.20 aperture with a focus range is 10 centimetres and the short speed is 1.4 to 1.8 seconds so you can go through the settings on it change them and show you that as well and the ISO is 10, 100 to 1600 auto so it's pretty decent um, enough specs and you'll see now in a minute as we go through so we're going to power it on which you just simply do here and your menu system will pop up here so what you do then is you go down through here so we're going to go through the menu so you can see so you know what you're getting into you have your AF illuminator, your exposure, your print settings, your Bluetooth settings, your cross key guide, your date and time, language, the sound setup, your playback volume, auto power off, reset, frame reset, frame data reset, format, and a firmware upgrade. So that's what you have in the menu there. And if you just go back over there. And you'll have your time and your date and so on here, no frame and filter and your battery indicator there. So it's pretty straightforward and pointing and shooting. <clears throat> Again, it's simple, it's just like any camera, you'll point and shoot. And as I said, if you want to put some audio on, which is really cool, um, you can use that as well. So basically what you need to do is download the app, which we're going to show you now. So in the app here, it will tell you that we're connected with Bluetooth. There's an Android version or Android and iOS version here, and it'll tell us the battery level and so on. So you have your sound settings there, your remote shooting. So you can print a photograph from here, from your device onto this, which is excellent. I will show you a demo of that as well. You can do your shortcuts here for your frames, your direct print, so you can directly print. Then you have your settings here through this and these are your shortcut buttons here and basically that's how it will work it's pretty pretty simple to use so for example if you want to shoot a photograph you can see that we're connected there now and all you do is press that And that's it. Very simple. It's great if you have photographs on your phone. Like when you think about it today, realistically speaking, when did you ever last go and get a photograph developed? And for me, this is pretty cool because it's been a long time since I've done it. I'm sure. Millions of people around the world are the same now where you resort to their smartphone and upload to Facebook. But like when was the last time you actually had a picture in your hand? Um, and here's one I printed from my daughter, our communion, and it's really, really nice. And it's just an example. Uh, posted, printed a lot off, but they're personal pictures. So when you go to use the camera for putting sound on which is fantastic you will have your photograph you'll take your picture 
and as you can see there the install on your device as well so the thing is they look actually better on the phone for some reason um, so what happens is then you'll download and um, you'll print the picture from the camera you'll need a QR scanner and then you'll scan the picture if we can get the app to open I have tons of apps on my phone and it's starting to slow down because I'm testing a lot of stuff here and the barcode scanner doesn't seem to want to open for some strange reason I'll try again and as you can see there it's loading riddled with fecking ads so you'll scan the barcode you'll get a message like this on your phone open up just once and this is what you'll get it's a really nice touch and very cool I have to say now So the sound quality is pretty good and pretty realistic there, you can hear the traffic and all behind me in the background and that's how simple this works, it's a really neat trick I have to say and it's an idea you can give this to someone as a, even a small present or something like that, you know, it's a simple token of um, showing someone something or a photograph, I mean, you know, pictures are boring sometimes but you know, you can take a photograph and stick a message on it, it's pretty cool. So that's the, um, the photograph. The pictures come out quite good, uh, but they seem to look better on the phones, I said. But again, you'll have to mess with the settings and all. I'm no camera expert. As I said already, I just typically use my smartphone for everything. And this is my first camera, but um, you can toggle around on the settings there. But um, everyone will have different views on pictures and so on. But the app is very simple to use, as I said. And as I said, the pictures will come up onto the phone as well, which is nice. And then you can mess around here. I love this remote shooting feature as well. And your direct prints and your Bluetooth settings. It's all pretty simple. And you have a how to use guide in the app as well. So if you get stuck, you can use that, which is pretty cool. So this, I have this set on to auto turn off to save the battery. So, in the settings here you have exposure so you can toggle through here like so which is pretty simple um, this is the thing that I found getting back then you have your print settings here you have a QR code colour and QR code position so you can actually move this uh, barcode QR code here anywhere on the frame which is excellent and you can also put the frames in as I showed you earlier on there right I'm not into that frame and stuff so I just like to take a photograph and leave it as it is um, your Bluetooth settings it's simple to pair to your phone you just turn it on find it pair it up together then you can add it as a trusted device you have your cross key guide which is on or off date and time simple enough to set you have a sound set up here so you have your operation sound, your shutter volume and your startup sound, you have three levels there. As you can see, you have your playback volume there, so again you can pick, take um, how loud the picture will play on your device, whatever the case is. So you can leave it at any setting, whichever suits yourself. You have your auto power on or off, so you have two minutes, five minutes or off. You can reset, you can frame data reset, and you can format as well, and then you can check for firmware upgrades. So that's pretty much the whole menu system there and how the camera is. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, as I said, it's my first camera to actually go out and properly use. Um, pictures come out quite nice. As I said, that's two examples there and an example of you can print directly from your smartphone which I think is really good as well because a lot of people take pictures of their phone today as I said none of us have actual when was the last time you went in and handed in the camera and got back a load of pictures so this is kind of 
a step back in time, but nonetheless, um, it's pretty nice. I know they're on the small side, but it is the, what its intention is to do. It's a mini version of the bigger ones that you've seen before. Um, but nonetheless, it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. It's an ideal gift for someone as well, and it's pretty robust too. It would have been nice if it came with a case, uh, but it didn't, but sure look, it is what it is, it's pretty strong. I like the two-tone colour accent on it there, and it's simplicity to use as well, because there's a lot of these cameras out there now today that need a science, science degree to work, but this is just pretty straightforward point and shoot. The, set, the menu system is easy to go into, it's easy to navigate, so... You know you're not going to get lost too much and that's why I've just put it up here so you can have a look and see yourself what you're going to be dealing with. Although I assume the menu is pretty much the same on other models. But that's the Instax Mini Lee Play. Highly recommended. I like it. I've gone through the two packs of uh, film that I've got and overall I can just say yeah it's pretty nice. It's worth the money. Um, picture quality isn't too bad you know. Again, it'll depend. You can mess around with the settings yourself and to set the tone whichever way you like. But D will be on your device as well, as I said, through the app, which is also pretty cool. And you can also enlarge images as well. And you can reduce and rotate them. And then you can print them off again. So the app is pretty straightforward. And basically, that's it in a nutshell. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty cool. There's a lot of nice colours in these as well. Um, I like this one myself, um, actually. It's pretty nice and you can't really go wrong if you want something simple. And if you want to have some fun and then step back in time and actually hold a photograph in your hand and read it. With the additional option to put a message on it as well, which I think is really cool. So that's it for now on the Instax Mini Lee Play. Any questions hit me up on techbuzzword.com. And we'll see you soon in the next video. We have lots coming.